Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a rough few weeks. Um, year two exams are in theory over. So we had a three hour short answer question paper, a three hour multiple choice question paper, so 150 multi-choice questions. And then this past Monday, the 9th of September, we had 15 OSCE stations, which are like the practical um, element where you're doing your clinical skills, you're physically examining patients and kind of working your way to a diagnosis. And it's been nearly five weeks since I've uploaded a video. It's been a really long time. I'm happy to be finally kind of rid of the exams, at least for now, and uh, able to make videos again. And I've got a lot of things in the pipeline, so I'm, I'm very happy to be back to that. How do I think the exams have gone? Uh, it's really difficult to tell, um, even the same as last year. Last year, I was absolutely convinced I'd failed. Not convinced I've failed. Convinced that certainly in the short answer question paper, I don't think I've done very well. So if, uh, if it is, if it is a pass by some miracle, it will be a very borderline pass. The multi-choice paper I was actually quite happy with. Um, I think, fingers crossed, I passed that. The OSCEs, who knows? Um, we have to pass 11 out of 15 OSCE stations. We did them all kind of back to back to back to back with an occasional rest in between. Not to give any details, we're not allowed to talk um, in detail about what was contained in the OSCEs. But the big difference from first year, so in first year, a typical station might be something like just examine this patient's hip or, you know, examine this patient's cardiovascular system. In year one, you spend most of your time learning the physical clinical exams. Second year is more about clinical skills. So things like examining the eyes, examining the ears, putting cannulas in, maybe inserting a nasogastric tube. And you can also be asked to do a lot more. So you might be asked to take a short history from a patient and then maybe do a small examination or interpret some lab results and then explain it to the patient in a way they understand. Maybe reach a diagnosis and do some basic management. Basically, I think in first year, and this is certainly what I did, you get your writtens out the way, you forget everything you learned for the writtens and then you practice the OSCEs. In second year, you still need the clinical knowledge that is required for the written exams for the OSCE stations. So it's a bit more holistic and it probably a better test of your overall clinical picture. Uh, something quite interesting also happened to me, uh, which is very bizarre, hasn't happened to me before. What um, essentially happened is I got basically a few minutes into um, one of the stations. And I need to point out, not one of the stations that I was actually worried about. I wasn't super anxious going into this one. It was something I know how to do. Um, but basically I suddenly felt like very hot, very, very sweaty, very anxious. And the, the real key thing that I remember is um, tingling. So round my mouth, uh, down the kind of ulna border of each arm and in the tips of my fingers as well and particularly like I remember looking at my arms like down feeling this very strong tingling down down the outside then I sort of collapsed uh, back into one of the chairs that was in the room then onto the floor I thought I was going to be sick god knows what the the examiner and the mock patient were thinking when this was going on uh, but thankfully um people came in they kind of dealt with me really well that is something to be said, props to the med school for, for dealing with it so well. Um, they kind of got me water, made sure I was kind of comfortable, um, got me some fresh air. They gave me all the space and time that I wanted uh, until I was ready to, to go again. Or they did say I could have just stopped um, altogether, but I genuinely, within maybe 15 minutes, I was, I was good to go again. Um, I was just a bit surprised. You know, that's never happened to me before, but um, just in case there's anything amiss, although I think it is just kind of stress and poor sleep and things getting to me after exam period, um, I am trying to make an appointment with a GP, although that is becoming rather difficult because there's a massive uh, slew of new students trying to sign up all at once, so there's a bit of a backlog. But I don't know, just in case you ever have episodes like this, 
I guess just don't worry um, if that happens. The med school were, were really, really good. They had, you know, allowed buffers for exactly that kind of thing to happen. And I'm really, really grateful with with just how, how at ease they made me in that situation. So thank you, Warwick. So where are we now? Um, officially, we have two weeks off uh, as of Monday. So we start again on Monday the 23rd, where I think we have a basically a week preparing us for SSC2, our research project point. I'm actually staying in Coventry to, to kind of get a head start on that project. The um, It's quite a big project, so I think it will benefit from, from me putting in an extra week, kind of 10 days. To be honest, I'm just grateful that the exams are over. We, we really worked ourselves up. And there is obviously the possibility that I'm resitting, um, either the Rittens or the, the Oskies or both. But we find out, I believe, the day when we start back again, whether or not we've passed. And then it's another four weeks beyond that until when the resits are. So we have another good month. We obviously have other things to do during that month. But it's a good amount of time, I think, just to patch up any weak areas. And I definitely had some weak areas um, that came up in the exam. That's why I'm a bit unsure. But genuinely, I'm pleased that you guys have been enjoying the content while I've been away. I'm still getting emails and personal statements and things through for all of you. I will be offering um, interview mocks again when you guys are ready for that. Just let me know. And yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of grateful to have a bit of a bit of downtime, a bit of exam free time. So thanks very much for watching, guys. It's just a quick catch up to let you know where I'm at. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.